guys, my name is Vita May and this is resin by Vita May and I will be giving a tutorial on how I do my earring. So I'm going to turn the camera around so that you guys can see what I'm doing and I hope you enjoy it. If you do subscribe to my channel and just follow me. Okay guys, so I will be using um, a hardener in part A and part B resin and I will be mixing them and you have to mix equal parts hardener to equal parts um, the other part I'm not sure exactly what it's called I am not technical I will tell you that right now um, but that's part B and I will be mixing it with the uh, for super gloss coating with the part A this one is normally the thicker one, some people use scales. I use cups with numbers, or not numbers, but those lines, and I'll show you it in a minute. I just need to keep it on the levels area in which I use to um, pour the resin to make sure that I have equal parts. I promise you, I will be having it on the screen. This is like my second video that I've ever made. Uh, the first one that I made, I thought it would be like TikTok, whereas though you can go in and edit it straight from the um, from the app. I did not know that with this one, uh, you need to edit it before you upload it to YouTube. So I'm kind of learning as I go on and I just want to um, share the things that I share just in case anybody's uh, into resin. I'm just making sure that they are even. So here we go, two cups. One is a part A, one is part B. I use um, popsicle sticks. I didn't understand why people use popsicle sticks, but I tried using um, up uh, recycling a cup once I mean not a cup a plastic spoon once so that you know I can recycle and recycle well it started developing in the resin so much faster than normal it started smoking I have never seen it do that before and I was like oh wow maybe this is why nobody ever suggested so I am going to start mixing them together I don't really want to do it, but if you look at it, there is a, oh, wow, Ugh. oops, bloopers. There's a cloud that's going on right now, and you have to mix it around until it gets clear, and I will show you that. I will come back off after when I've cleaned this up some, so be back. Okay, I am back, and I thank you. Um, you really should be using gloves, but I don't really use gloves. I don't know if you can see inside of the cup, but it's so much clearer than what it is. Make sure that you scrape around the sides and that you get the bottom as well. My work time is roughly about um, 30 minutes, um, about 20 to 30 minutes with this resin. So that's why I like to use it. I have used other resins that were much shorter. I'm going to be using the color combination of green. Green for almost all of it. I'm trying to do a, um, a series. So I have some green glitter in there. I'm going to, oh, oh. wow, everything is just like doing its own thing today. I'm going to put some green color in there. I'm also going to put green color in just a, just a regular one. And I'm also going to use uh, a glitter with big chunks of glitter. And I am going to use a white. Those are going to be my only colors that I'm going to use. So normally what I do for this is I normally then take and put resin in because green is my primary color. I'm going to pour this almost all the way up to the top. 
and fill that up with resin because I will be using some white I would fill this up maybe about mm, let's say maybe about halfway since white is going to be my other color I have the other one which is um, the glitter I will put some in there not so much maybe a quarter about a quarter cup and then the green with the glitter I'm going to pour maybe about a little bit more than a half but not fill all the way up to the top and now I have some also a little bit of clear left so I'm just going to take two of the popsicle sticks and put it in here and then take the other popsicle sticks and put them in and I'm going to start mixing I will mix it until basically the resin and the uh, stuff that I have in here mixed together as you can see here I'll do this because it's low if you see here I'm not going to really lean it the color is not together but let me just mix it a little bit and show you that once you mix 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 it together it starts to come together as one this is so pretty it's a glitter it reminds me of Emerald City of uh, the Wizard of Oz with the Emerald City this green with the glitter so I'm going to continue to mix it and I'll be right back all right thank you for waiting it shouldn't have been long but I have mixed them together and because this is earrings that I'm doing earrings are normally something that are small in a small area small setting and there's no right or no wrong way of doing earrings you just kind of want to make sure if you do it for one that you do it for the other so that you kind of have like the same uh, pattern uh, that's going on with the two earrings because you don't want one to have one I'm going to make that one green start off with green and then finish it up with like a white so I think that's going to be so cool uh, I also have another tool for the smaller areas this one was pretty big so I can kind of um, I can kind of uh, use use my popsicle sticks to do that but I have a syringe here so just in case you have like smaller areas in which you want to do like I want to make sure that let me pull this down that I have this leaf and that I'm putting it all in the middles and in the grooves so I will use this I think I'm just going to do that at the bottom and I'll go and I'll do the other one the same way So I just did the even amount there and I will take, let's take the glitter. Glitter is so pretty. Let's do the glitter. And then we're going to do a little bit of the green up at the top right here so we can blend this like it's uh, together so that it's still the same color. 
a little green here. And then of course we're going to do a little bit of the glitter to make these a pair. Okay. Oh, you know what, guys? I forgot to do this one. So green here. And And then we have to go in with the white. Okay, that's going to be super pretty. I do think that this one could use a little bit more of green. And so we'll cut this one, okay? And let's just go through and start adding this green because I'm taking too long with the uh, resin. I think I poured too much. Okay, so I can feel my resin starting to get hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to rush through all of this. So I'm going to put you guys on pause and come back. And I'm going to show you the finishing products in just one minute. I will show you guys um, a little bit more. Um, I think I'm going to like the white with this one. So it's just like a judgment call. Just film it in. Try to clean up a little bit when we're doing this too. Let's do since we are running out of time with the resin. Let's do one that's all glitter. And then we'll add a little green to the glitter. And one moment. One momento, please. I promise you guys, I'm normally neater than this. I normally do it. I thought that, you know, filming it would be a, a great opportunity for me to, you know, do it online. Add a little green to this. The green will do like a peekaboo.
Okay, so now I have this one to do. It's pretty big. You know what I did not do? I didn't do anything with the glitter yet, with the green glitter. So I will be doing something with that in just one moment. I do love these mats that you see underneath uh, when the resin, when you do make a mess and the resin does get there, it is super duper easy to clean up. Once it's hard, you can just peel it right off. Uh, it's just like the silicone, um, it's just like these or whatever, so it's easy to clean up. I'm going to add some more of this resin here, just needs a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I think these are done. So now I'm going to work on this one. I think I will do a green glitter half and then half. To about right to there and then let's go with the white Then we'll do half white. Guys, I'm sorry if I'm not really interacting as I normally do. I normally am just doing this on my own. So this is new for me. So I do apologize. I want to include you in on what I'm doing. But, uh, you know, I'm also trying to focus on what I'm doing so it's all a learning thing for me let me just pour this in these are going to be so pretty i don't have a favorite color but if i did i think it would be green today Just want to make sure that it gets around. One of the things that I like about molds and I like about resin is that it will level itself out. And if you overdo it, you can always just move it over, dump it into something else. That's like perfect. Now let's go over here. Let's make some resin. I think I'm just going to cheat. Can you guys see over here? Let me move the camera up just a little bit. Sorry for the hands. Okay, excellent. I think I want to do this one a little bit like glitter and white again. Or maybe, you know what, I have a little bit of glitter here. Maybe I'll use this glitter. So it's like glitter on glitter. Oh, that is super pretty.
I don't know if I just messed that up because that was so pretty. Maybe I should have just left it the way that it is. But sometimes, you know, you can't second guess yourself all the time. Just do what you do because there's always going to be someone who's going to love no matter what. Everybody's taste is different. Some things that are good for you may not be really that nice for somebody else. The glitter is gone, so that's good. I utilize all of that. Now let's utilize this one. You can see that it's starting to thicken up a little bit, so I have to be careful with how I use it because when it starts to get thick, it's starting to more like settle. So normally what I do is if I don't have enough time to do anything and it's really like settling, I will throw it in an ashtray or something. That's the way I don't uh, lose resin or anything. Let me clean this one up. This one's going to need to be cleaned up. Uh, this one's going to need to be cleaned up too. It's way too much. And I'm sorry guys, I'm cleaning this up. I'm making a huge, huge mess. Oh, this white one. Let's see what we can do with this white one. I'm going to put this glitter on the side. And let's get some white. Let's just, ooh, this, oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I was gone for at least about 10 minutes, maybe, trying to clean up the mess. I promise you, I have been doing this for a little while, and I have never had a mess like I've had. Maybe I'm nervous. But uh, the next step is going to be um, to give it a little uh, blow dry with a dryer. Um, because there's little bubbles and things that come on the resin and they need to be uh, taken out because it makes the jewelry clear and it makes it just look better and so we like to get this with a dryer I don't like to stay too too long on the mold because the dryer does get hot and it could actually uh, bend the molds a little bit um, so you just kind of give it a little blast around. And uh, I did have some clear left over. I made it black and I'm gonna make some skull keychains. So I did add that. I also have studs that are here. I made them white. I have white left over. And these are the earrings with all of the glitter, the glitter and white. Just go over this whole batch right here. In the back, I'll be surprised to see how that worked out because that's when the resin had started getting hard and I had, had like a little bit of working time so I had to just do my best to you know make it happen a lot of times this kind of stuff turns out to be just as good as if you everything went well resin is kind of sometimes impossible to deal with uh, but it's fun I really like it again I would suggest everybody to wear gloves when you're working with it um, I don't wear gloves because I don't mind it getting on my hands um, unfortunately I am going to have to stop the tape uh, because I do not know how to edit it and tomorrow I'll do a part two and I will reveal what the earrings look like. I'll actually uh, demold them first and then I will uh, actually do a couple of pairs 
on camera so that you guys can see how you actually put the earrings together and then display them. I thank you for watching. My name is Vita May and this is Resin by Vita May. Have a wonderful day. I will see you on part two.